Hello student, I welcome you all on the small session of the centripetal pump that is characteristic curve. Okay, though it's a theoretical part, but still it's a very important uh, in a centripetal pump. So we will just take the quick review of this characteristic curve. Uh, this characteristic curve is also called as a performance curve and this is usually obtained uh, at the time of designing of the pump. Okay, so it's a future prediction of that particular pump, how it will operate at actual condition. And while buying of the pumps uh, in industries also usually uh, while buying for the domestic purpose we are not looking this curves but at a time of actual application in terms of this uh, let's say we have to select the pumps for uh, feed water for the boiler in industry let's say cooling tower or any industry heat exchanger industry so at that time this characteristic curve is very uh, important because all industry person are refer this characteristic curve then select the pump according to their requirements because their requirements are so specified so accordingly they have, we have to take uh, take care of this all these things okay so this characteristic uh, characteristic curve basically the uh, curve which are plotted from the result of the number of tests on the centrifugal pump and this curve are necessary to predict the behavior and performance of the pump uh, when the pump is working under different flow rate head and speed okay so these are the performance parameter flow rate head and the speed depending upon this we are having the three types of curve that is first one main characteristic curve then operating characteristic curve and third one is the constant efficiency or muscle curve okay the first one is your main characteristic curve okay this curve usually uh, with respect to the speed uh, that is rpm n and we have to calculate what is the performance of this pump uh, at different speed okay so for each of the speed that is uh, the pump discharge is varied by means of the delivery wall for the different value of the q the corresponding values of manometric head shaft power and overall efficiency are measured or calculated okay by varying the discharge we have to calculate this all manometric head and shaft power okay and we are getting the curve over here initially if you are going to plot the Discharge forces RPM curve by putting HM is constant is a first order curve that is straight line approximately then by putting Q is constant if you're going to uh, plot the curve H versus uh, means head versus RPM it's a second degree curve we can see a second degree curve okay and then if you are going to plot by putting Q and H is constant P versus that is power versus RPM then it is third degree curve that is P directly proportional to N cube okay so this curve are usually uh, useful to indicating the performance of the pump at different speed at what speed uh, what is the efficiency or what is the head is there okay I mean suppose i need a manometric head let's say two meter then from this i will select the rpm of the pump and then definitely i will just calculate the my uh, i will just check the my uh, discharge and power requirement also so this curve are very important then operating characteristic curve basically the operating characteristic curve means what the curve which is obtained uh, at actually operating condition and this curve is basically uh, efficiency power or head versus discharge means with respect to the discharge all other parameter are is obtained okay uh, from this characteristic curve uh, it is possible to determine whether pump will handle the necessary quantity of liquid against the desired head and what will happen if the head is increased or decreased okay so we can say this is a decrease uh, this is a curve head versus q okay we are having the q also i mean that, that is requirement and we are having the q also over here we are having the h also over here so using the our requirement let's say i need a 30 meter cube per second delivery uh, at of water per second meter cube per second so what is the head requirement for this one so all these things we can check from this curve then in addition to this curve is uh, again selected to what size of motor will be required to operate the pump at the required condition and whether the motor is overloaded under the operating condition or not okay so because this discharge is a very important parameter while uh, buying the pump for the industry initially first of all we are looking for the discharge that's why this curve is called as operating characteristic curve means what is the operating parameter operational level so it's a discharge so it is also justify or it's also tell us about the size of the motor okay at what size of motor is required suppose i require let's say 30 again 30 meter cube per second i will just check what is the size of motor from the power curve let's say this 30 meter cube uh, of uh, 30 cube 
let's see here 30 meter cube per second and if you take the horizontal line and at the power core i got there is a curve for the 20 kilowatt let's say so for 30 meter cube per second delivering the water i need a 20 kilowatt power means minimum that motor of the pump having the 30 kilowatt input to the impeller then i can select that pump okay and simultaneously i can get efficiency also at what efficiency i am get looking for looking for it at the discharge okay and this again depend the requirement whether we are looking for the discharge only or where you can looking for the efficiency only likewise and if it's varying application to application also okay so last one is your constant efficiency curve this curve is also called as a muscle curve and this is a combination of all these curves okay basically it's a manometric head in meters okay we can see this is a manometric head okay on y axis and there is a discharge in liter per second and this is a efficiency curve this dotted line shows the efficiency curve okay from this curve i can directly find out uh, the my selection of the pump depending upon the my head requirement and my discharge requirement what that particular pump will have the efficiency basically we are looking for all if i am going to buy that pump definitely i will looking for the maximum efficiency suppose my head requirement is 20 meters okay let's say this one so i am and uh, so if the 20 meters it is there then definitely the rpm will be the 720 rpm of the pump okay and this will be the 20 meters head uh, curve over here and let's say discharge is your 100 liters per second so 100 meters second curve will meet over here some point so at that point i am looking for the efficiency curve so my efficiency curve at uh, at this point somewhere at this point is your 74 okay this 74 efficiency curve is there so for my requirement 20 meter said and 100 meter cube i will get the 74 percent efficiency of that pump with 720 rpm uh, also so likewise i can select if i am agree with that i am just uh, convinced with that then i can select that pump so this muscle curve is also important and this all curves generally provided by the manufacturer to the customer and from that uh, particular document or we can say the that particular curve we can select our the pump okay so this generally all curves are given by the manufacturer and again i am saying that this uh, generally we are referring the charts for uh, only buying for the pump or industrial application or some special purpose application for the some research or anything so carefully we have to select this particular things so these are the importance of the curve thank you for attending this curve i hope you understand uh, this curve the next session we will see some numericals okay thank you thanks a lot